Hi guys, my name is Yvonne. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you've been here before, then welcome back. In this video today, we're going to be doing another graph beanie, this time using the word hope. And we're going to be doing a different color brim, actually the same color as the letters. This is a messy bun, but I'm going to show you the full version and I'm going to show you where to stop to make it a messy bun. We're also going to be doing the waistcoat stitch. But again, you can use single crochet if you'd like to. So let me tell you what I used for this project. All right, so the materials that we're using today is gonna to be the Charisma Yarn Loops and Thread in white and think pink. And this is a number five bulky yarn. I'm gonna be using a size L, eight millimeter crochet hook. And this one is a Clover Amour brand. Scissors and a yarn needle. So go ahead guys. Grab your materials and let's get hooking. All right, so starting with the brim, we're going to be just doing a little slip knot here. Uh, we're going to work the brim, and I did a chain of six. So here's yarn over, pull it through. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you're going to do one single crochet in the second chain from your hook. This one does not count as a stitch, so you go one, two, insert your hook, yarn over, draw it through, two loops on your hook, yarn over, go through both. That's your first single crochet. So go into the next chain, yarn over, draw it through, yarn over, go through both. We're gonna do this all the way across. So that's three, and that's four and five. Okay, so we're gonna chain one, we're gonna turn our work. Now we're gonna be working row two all the way up to row 45. Now the first and the last stitch, as most of you know when I do my brims, I go under both loops. The reason I do that is because it gives me a nice edging on both sides. So you're gonna go under both loops like that, yarn over, draw it through, yarn over, and go through both. And then we're gonna single crochet in the back loop only of the ones in the middle. All right, so you're gonna go under the back loop, yarn over, draw it through, yarn over, go through both. Just like this. And here is the number four. And then now we're on the last stitch and you're gonna go under both, just like that. You should have five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. So now rows three, again, all the way through 45, we're gonna do the same thing. So under both, like this, and then back loops. Now this gave me a brim size of about 17 and a half, and that fit perfect for about 21. This brim is gonna be very stretchy. All right, so continue this all the way till you get to round 45. All right, so I am done with my brim and mine measured 17 and a half inches and you can see it's super stretchy. So now let's go ahead and we're going to bring the two ends together and we're gonna chain one and we're gonna work under both loops on this side and then on the bottom edge of the other end. And then we're gonna just slip stitch all the way across. All right, so you should have five. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Now we're gonna chain one, and I like to turn this like that and have that be the inside. All right, so now we're gonna change colors because the white is our contrasting color and the pink one is our main color. But we're gonna leave our, we're not going to cut off the white yarn because we're still gonna use it, okay? So now we have our pink and we want to single crochet 51 stitches evenly and loosely across our brim, okay? So again, we're gonna go in like this, yarn over, bring it through, 
make sure this is pretty loose right here. Yarn over and go through both. Insert your hook into the next one. Yarn over, draw it through, pull it up a little bit. Yarn over, go through both. Now, if you're working the single crochet through the whole project, then this part really isn't that important. But if you're going to do the waistcoat stitch like I am, then you want your stitches to be loose. And it's super hard for me because I crochet super tight. So again, we're just going to do 51 single crochets evenly all the way across the brim. I will meet you here when I am done with mine. All right, so now I'm done with round one. So let's go ahead and we're going to join with a slip stitch and then chain one. Okay, and we should have 51 stitches all the way across. So now working round two, we're going to be one, we're going to do a color change and we're going to be working the waistcoat stitch now and throughout the rest of this pattern. So the way we do the waistcoat stitch is we're going to be working a single crochet in between the post of the previous single crochet. Okay. So normally your single crochets will go, you know, in the both loops or the back loop, but for the waistcoat stitch and to get that look that looks like a knitted beanie, we're going to be working in between the post right here. All right. So this is where you're going to place your hook just like this in between the V's and that's why it's important to work loose. Okay. So this is how it's going to look. You're going to be under the two loops, but then you're also under another strand of yarn in the back. Yarn over, draw it through and you want to pull up, yarn over, go through both. Okay. Do the same thing here. Just like that. Now, we're going to be doing a color change. So I'm going to drop that yarn and I'm going to pick up my contrasting color. And then I'm going to finish off like that and then pull. Oh, you don't want that too, too loose. Okay. So that's two. Now we want one in the contrasting color. Pull up, drop your contrasting color. I put mine the contrasting color to the front and I keep my main color to the back so it doesn't get tangled. Okay. So yarn over and then finish that through like that. So that's going to be the pattern. Okay. So again, working in the post here, you're going to push that through yarn over, draw up the loop, yarn over, go through both. And I carry my yarn to the back of my work and I do that for the whole project. Okay. And then we're going to do another one in the main color, just like this, drop your yarn and then pick up the contrasting color, bring that through. And here's the contrasting color, just like that. Drop the yarn, pick up the main color like that. All right. So go ahead and you're going to, keep doing that all the way around and you will end with the contrasting color right here and I will meet you when I am done with round two. All right guys I'm done with round two and I've already joined with a slip stitch and I chained one. So round three there will be no color change but what I did was I carried my yarn for 16 stitches because in round four that's when we start our word. Okay so let's go ahead and we're going to be doing the same thing that we've been doing. So insert your hook in the middle here between the posts and we're going to push that back. Yarn, yarn over, draw it through two loops on your hook, yarn over, and you're going to go through both just like this. Okay. So we're just going to do this all the way around and remember to work loosely. And I will meet you here when I am done with round three. All right. I'm done with round three and I've already joined with a slip stitch and I chained one. So now let's work round four and this is where we're going to start the word. So reading the graph, 
we are going to do the first 16 stitches in the main color. All right, so we're gonna just do what we've been doing. And in our main color, we're going to do 16. Okay, so just like we've been doing, like this. Okay, and I will fast forward. All right, so this is my 16th stitch. So now I'm going to drop my color and I'm gonna bring in my contrasting color. Okay, so now reading the graph, it's gonna be four stitches in white. So we're just going to, again, do the same thing. And here's one, two, three, and four. And that's the bottom of our E. Whoops. We want to do a color change. And then the next four stitches will be in the main color. So there's one, two, three, and four. We're gonna drop that one and then pick up the white. And then we want one stitch. This is the bottom of the P. So we're gonna do one stitch, bring that here. And then we need two stitches in the main color. So here's one and two. Drop that one, pick up the white. And then we need two stitches in white. So this is our um, the bottom of the letter O. So there's one, two. Okay, and then we need two stitches in the main color. So there's one and two. Drop that, pick it, pick up white. And we need one stitch. And two, two stitches in the main color. So there's one and two and pick up white. So then we need one in white. And this is the H, the letter H. And there we go. So now the rest of your stitches, there should be 16 left. You're gonna work the main color and you're gonna do 16 stitches. So I will meet you here when I am done with my 16 stitches. All right, so I am done with the 16th stitch. So now let's go ahead and we're going to join with the slip stitch. And if you look, you can kind of see right here the where I've been carrying it. You just kind of want to tug a little bit just to kind of Smooth that out. Even You don't want to do it too tight. Just like that. Okay. So that was round four. Go ahead, chain one. So now we're going to work round five. Okay, so round five, we are going to do um, 19 stitches in the main color. Okay. So again, we're just doing the same stitch. Just like that. And I'll fast forward. All right, so here is 19 so now we want to do a color change and then we do one in the contrasting color and then 
change back to the main color. So we need another four stitches in our main color. That's one, two, three, and then four. And then we're going to change to contrasting color. And then we're going to need one and then change to the main color and then we go it's just one and then one change back and again I'm just following the graph and then we do one and two drop that one And then we do one, grab the main color, and then the contrasting color, and then now we're on the H. So here's one, and then we need two in the main color, and that's two, drop that, bring in the contrasting color, and here's the last stitch for the letter H. Okay, now the last 16 stitches will be in the main color. Like that. And I will meet you here when I am done with round five. All right, so I am done with round five. So round six through 12, you're gonna continue just to follow your graph. And I will meet you here when I am done with round 12. So round six, we're gonna start again with 19 single crochets until you do your color change. All right, so again, it's just going through here and just doing what we've been doing. And now you can kind of see you're getting the, the knit look. All right, so go ahead and continue on. And I will meet you here at the end of round 12. All right, I am done with round 12. So let's go ahead and there we go. So now round 13, we're just gonna be using the main color. So we do not have to carry that one with us anymore. So go ahead and again, Round 13, we're just gonna use the main color going all the way around. All right, and we do not wanna cut off the white just yet because we're gonna need it in the next round. So go ahead and work your stitches all the way around and I will meet you here at the end of round 13. All right, guys, I'm done with round 13. Now round 14 is gonna be our last color change. Now if you didn't, do the color change that was down here then just go ahead and keep using your main color but if you did um, the color change then this is all we're going to do so the first two stitches we're going to do in the main color okay and then we're going to drop that so that's the first two stitches and then the next one we're going to do contrasting color drop that and then bring in the main one. And that's all we're doing. So it's gonna be two in the main and then one contrasting color. All right, so go ahead, finish round 14 and I will meet you here when I am done. All right, so I am done with round 14. So now we do not need the white anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and snip that off and I'll sew that in later. Okay, so now round 15, we're going to be doing just the main color all the way around. Okay, so again, just doing what we've been doing. There's one, two, and this is all we're doing, guys, all the way around. I will meet you here at the end of round 15. All right, guys, so I am done with round 15. Now let's move on to round 16, which is a decrease round. So let me show you how I did it. 
So we're going to insert our hook in the same space that we've been doing the whole project. So again, in here like this, you're going to yarn over, draw it through, go into your next stitch, yarn over, draw it through, then take your hook and then go through one loop. Now we're going to yarn over and then we're going to go through the last two. Okay, so let me do one more with you. We're going to insert our hook like this, yarn over, bring it through, go into the next one like this, yarn over and bring it through, go through one, yarn over and go through the last two. All right, we're going to do that all the way across. We're going to end up with one extra stitch and all you want to do is single crochet or yeah, single crochet into that same post of the very last one and you should end up with 26 stitches. I will meet you here when I am done decreasing. All right, guys, so I am done with round 16. Now round 17, 18 and 19 are going to be all the same. So what we're going to do is what we've been doing inserting our hook like this. Now if you did single crochet throughout your beanie, then you're just going to work a single crochet in each stitch around, okay? But since I'm doing the waistcoat stitch, we're just going to be doing what we've been doing all the way around, just like this. Okay, so I will meet you back around at the end when I am done with round 19. All right, guys, so I am done with round 19. So now we're going to go ahead and you want a long tail so that we can close the top. All right, so before I show you how I close it, I'm going to tell you, so if you want to make this a messy bun, if the person you're making this for has thick hair, you can probably stop right here. This measures about six inches. I like to go a little bit smaller. So you can just do another round of decreases and that will bring you down to about 13 stitches. But just check just to make sure that it's not too small. But that's how I would do the messy bun. I would probably do another decrease row at this point. All right, so now let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you how I close this up. Now, if you saw my other video, um, it's I do it the same way, okay? So I like to have two strands of yarn like that. And then again, I'm just going to weave it in and out. Now you don't have to go through every stitch. You're just gonna do this and I won't have you watch me so I will come back around like that and I'll come back when I am done weaving alright so I came all the way around and now you just want to pull that closed and let's see add a few extra stitches Let's go ahead and we're going to turn this like this. And then just add a few extra in here. And then we'll go ahead and snip that off. So now, let me snip this here. There we go. So now we're ready to add our pom pom. And I used the jumbo uh, pom pom maker. I will put everything that I used in the links down below. But again, we're just going to add this to the top and I just bring my hook like this up here and then grab one in like this, bring it through, like that, and then all you're going to do is tie it together.
And then what I do normally is I will pop this back up through. Might do just a little stitch like that. But then I just go ahead and I pop it back up and then into the pom-pom. Like that. And then I cut it. So that is it, guys. Oh my gosh. These beanies can be super, super addicting. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. I will leave the links to everything again below in the description box. If you have not subscribed yet to my channel, go ahead and do so and click the notification, the little bell, so that way you'll know when I make my next video tutorial. Again, guys, thanks so much for watching and happy crocheting. Bye.